Hi, Mark Egan here. Now, before I signed up to Podcasters Mastery, I looked at all the other courses out there and generally I found it quite daunting because uh, lots of them are very technical. You know, they almost want to show off how clever they are by going deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper into lots of technical stuff. Now, you do need to understand that. But the great thing about Podcasters Mastery is that it teaches you what you need to know when you need to know it. And then when you go further, you can go back and go deeper and deeper if you want to. But I went from thinking about launching a podcast for literally years to launching within a few weeks, thanks to Podcasters Mastery. And the reason was is David's a great teacher. He explains thing in a, explains things in a really simple, clear way, and he's determined for you to succeed. So I understood how to set up the podcast, what pitfalls to avoid, and the way to set it up correctly so that you're not later going back having to relaunch, change things, all that kind of thing. The technical side, he knows his stuff, but he makes it simple. It's like you can get up and running with this. If you want to go further, you could use this and explains the pros and cons. It's almost like speaking to a friend who has, is, you know, further down the, the road than you are. And essentially uh, what I found is it's built confidence because you can become overwhelmed by all the challenges. And what Podcasters Mastery managed to do is to say, look, this is what you need to know and get me to where I needed to be so that I had the knowledge to do it, but also the confidence to do it. And now I've launched my first podcast. I'm really happy with it going well. And I'm actually about to launch my second one. So if you're even thinking for a second that this won't get you to where you need to be, don't worry about it. I wasn't sure when I signed up, but it's completely blown me away. Everything you need to know is in there. Dave is a great teacher. So if you want to get a successful podcast up and running, Podcasters Mastery is pretty much the best place to go. Yeah, hello there and welcome to day one of Podcasters Mastery Presents Launch a Podcast in Five Days Masterclass. And in today's kickoff session, what we're going to be doing is looking quite simply at how a podcast operates and why are you not doing it? Why haven't you been thinking about this before? Now, we're going to go into a few screenshots, first of all. But what I like to do really is talk directly into the webcam because it's from the heart. It's not pre-scripted. It's just me saying it as it is. And there's no doubt about it. What you're seeing at the moment and what you've signed up for is an absolute gold mine of information that can take you from an established business to a multiple five figure business within six months. Some people have done it within three months. It all depends on the hustle you put in because there are certain strategies to launching a podcast and getting out to the world that if you haven't got any background to it at all and you're just starting the podcast as the, the first step, then you need to build up your platform. And that is quite common sense, I suppose. If you've got a business already and you aren't using the power of a podcast to blast it out to the world, then you have been missing a trick. And we can prove that. Now, what I'm going to do, we're going to go over into Google, first of all, and we're going to just start by looking at the people that you like, the people that are out there in the online environment, companies, businesses, whatever, and have a look at their podcasts. Have a look at their blogs to see if they've got podcasts. Have a look at their websites and see if they've got podcasts. And you can do this yourself. So I'm just going to pick some names off the top of my head. Um, some of them might come up true. Some of them may not. But I would guarantee that probably 95% of them, if they didn't have a podcast when they started, they realize that by creating content that can be pushed out so easily in the directions that you want, then it is a great way of building that connection, building that bridge with their listeners, ultimately building loyalty with their listeners because the listener can see them directly and then sell their products, sell their services or whatever, create an income from themselves. So let's go over to Google and see what we can find out first of all. Right, okay, so here we are in Google and you can literally choose any names you want so some of these I know that they're going to work because I know that they've got podcasts but others I'm just going to sort of test them out and see what happens so first of all I'm going to type in who has got a podcast 
Let's just see what comes up there. Um, if we all got lost in podcasts, the world would be a better place. Looking for a new podcast to try, okay? 45 great picks from the TED star. So we can go down to Criminal, The Story Collider, State of the Union, Love Radio, Invisibilia, The Truth, Mystery Show, More Thoughtful Life. So there's loads, the longest, shortest time. Let's go to this one. So this is a website. And you can see that they're already up to episode 82. It's the parenting show for everyone. we we'll jump back onto other one. Desert Island Discs, which is a BBC one. Comedy. Let's go. The Indoor Kids. So there we go. The Indoor Kids with Kumail Nanjiani. Um, so I'm going to type in Pat Flynn. Now, Pat Flynn is a smart passive income guy he had a blog first of all and he had a blog for a long while and then he decided to get into podcasting and he was terrified he was terrified about podcasting because it was really putting yourself out there but if we go over to podcast now you can see not only has he got one he has got three of them so why is he putting that effort in because he knows it's a great way of exploding his loyalty of his listeners and you can see episode 212 of the podcasting Pat Flynn, smart, smart Passive Income. Really like the way his site is set up. If we jump back onto there, we can see he even does TV now. Now, TV is just a visual podcast. It's content that we can consume on the go. We can look on our iPhones, our Androids. It's exactly, exactly the same way. Set up a camera, speak straight into it, like I'm doing with a microphone, and we can go back into that. Now, there was a lady that I had on the show a long time ago who had wealth clinic lisa peterson that's it wealth clinic now i know that she was talking to me at that time about thinking about doing a podcast so i'm just going to see if she's doing one is she doing one the wealth clinic yep absolutely there we go podcasts so you can literally as i say jump across and look for different websites within your business within your niche before you even start to invest in a microphone or whatever, as we're going to talk into day two, you can go into any of the companies that you know, or the solopreneurs, the entrepreneurs, and have a look to see if they've also got a website. Now, if I've got a website linked to a podcast, you know that they're doing it for a reason. Nobody is doing it because it's not going to bring income back into them. And it's a brilliant way of doing it. And we're going to show you now why it's so amazing. And this is how a podcast works okay so let's look at how it operates in a business sense and leave you with the question to ask yourself of not why should I be podcasting but why haven't I started podcasting certainly if you've got a business or you've got a website up or a blog that's been operating for a while well over the last few years or generally how it's always done is you create a business you create a website and then you try to get it in organic search so you try to get it to the top of page one in Google or Yahoo or whatever search engine you are operating in and then you will get business and the higher you get the more business you will be found for and it can be very lucrative to get to the top now unfortunately that's very very difficult to do so people have to start paying for advert advertising to get to the top of that website so we try to create a list and we create a list and we start emailing out to people trying to get their business and once again there isn't that connectivity there's not that loyalty there's not that trust people aren't coming to you day after day after day like they do with a podcast because they love the content and so it's very hard it's almost like cold calling and so we try to become social and we get our website onto Facebook and we get our website out onto Twitter and our business and it's very much me 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 come over here look at my website this is the product that I want to sell this is what we're doing now with a podcast it operates in a very different manner now you can use these forms of communication and they are great and they are hugely powerful if you've got customers i.e listeners that like what you're talking about and they tune in and they choose to subscribe and they email you and then what happens is you can still use this but you can double your chance of being found by putting your 
podcast onto iTunes. And on iTunes, they've got something like 525 million podcasts out there. Now, it's going to be too complicated for the course we're doing here, but there are methods that you can use to get to the top of iTunes and find the big chunk of customers that you need to absolutely explode your business. And it is a simple process to do that. So subsequently, you haven't got the me, 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 you've got the I, I, I. You are speaking directly to your listener. And if you present that information that answers their questions in a way that they feel they're dealing with an individual, which is a key to a podcast, they will come to you. And when they come to you, you can then open up communication and you can actually ask what their problems are. They effectively start building your business and give you the ideas of products, which is amazing. Now, iTunes is a brilliant platform to be on, but Stitcher, now in America, all radio stations in cars have the ability to be podcast friendly as well. So you can be tuning through your radio in your car and then find a podcast. If it appeals to you, you can start listening. Now with podcasts, you can listen to episode after episode after episode. Now I've released nearly 600 episodes. So if somebody likes my content, they can sit with me for a whole day or so. At the end, they literally think that they can connect with me on Facebook or by email and I'm a friend. Now that's the way I develop it. And so if I do, I always respond, how are you? Thank you very much for listening. What can I do for you? And then we start talking. Brilliant. Now, you can also get your podcast onto radio stations. So whether people are used to being on online, iTunes, looking for websites, or they like the old terrestrial, you can actually get your podcast franchised. And I'm actually on 250 um, radio stations through America for that format. So you literally treble the way that you interact. But more importantly than that, you're giving the content for them to consume when they want. They download the MP3s, they download the audio files, the video files, and they can watch it when they choose on the train, on the bus, in the bath, wherever they want to be, when they're driving around in their car, at the gym. They can listen to your content. And once again, they're choosing to do that. So it is an amazing engine. I actually say It is the rocket power for the engine that is a website or business. And quite simply, to gain the amount of traffic that you can get, i.e. the listeners, in such a short period of time, using the principles that we will show you, you will not get that anywhere else. And the best thing, as we're recording this at the moment, you would be ahead of the curve. You would be at a state where podcasting is exploding, but you would still be ahead of the curve. And at the moment, more and more shows are getting online. More and more shows are being taught the wrong way to get online. And you can see that by going over to iTunes and realizing how many people stop after a period of time because they're not taught the right way to develop a show. It's too hard for them to do. That will not occur with you. You will be able to record content time and time again in the most easy way to get it out onto all these formats and of course develop traffic, customers, listeners and income for your business. So that is in principle how it operates. You create the file and you put it up onto a hosting account, another website and then from that point it naturally points out to every place you ask it to go. And every time you launch a podcast episode, it will naturally go out to iTunes, to Stitcher, to Podbean, to the radio stations, wherever you've given them the link for your show, it will go out. So you can sit at home, you can sit on your laptop, you can record an episode, put it up online, and then set it to go out when you want. And when it does, get ready for that influx of customers coming your way. So that is the kind of behind the scenes of why you should be podcasting and why if you've got a website or business, you literally double or treble the ways that you're being found by using this format. But even better that we didn't explain on there is once you get to a certain point, Other podcasters will want to interview you and get you on their show. And then their listener base 
will listen to you, like what you're saying, and come over to you and connect again. You're building and building and building. There's layers and layers and layers of how you get found. Obviously, the best way is by starting, and we are now going to show you in this video how you actually do it, how you actually record an episode and get it out to the world. And believe me, it's pretty damn easy to do. Let's have a look. So literally, you can create a podcast in about three to five steps. Some people do it a lot quicker nowadays, but we're going to start with the simplest way to teach you how to podcast. So you've got your phone, you've got your laptop, you've got your tablet. All of these devices can be used to create a podcast. And bear in mind, you're watching this, then you are all good to go. You've already got some kind of connectivity to the internet. So you've got your laptop and then you simply have to connect a microphone. You record your content by microphone and once you've done that, that content will be edited on a free or paid recording software. Once you've got the content on the file, you convert it into an MP3 and you take that file and instead of playing it directly from your website, you give it to a hosting site. They keep it for you and they give you a very simple link, a RSS feed, which is known as really simple syndication. And wherever you point that, it goes out to the world. So simply, you record it on your laptop, you create it into an MP3 file, you give it to a company to look after, and then on a day-to-day -day basis, whenever you want, they will launch it to the world. And believe me, and I can show you on my own graph, it goes out wherever you want. Wherever you can get listeners, you will find customers. So we're not just talking about having a business, which is the people that walk past you in the street. We're literally talking about people having customers across the globe. And one of the things I talk about on Join Up Thoughts a lot is if you can create a product for $500 and sell it only 200 times, you will make six figures and you do the math. Most podcasts will be getting something between 20 or a million listens per month. And you're only looking for about 200 of those to get into six figures. So it's highly lucrative. So it, this is the site where I host my majority of my shows at Libsyn. And you can see it breaks it down from the top countries. So the big podcasting country is the United States, 59.75% of my listens have come from there. Then we've got France and we've got Canada and we've got others and it will break it down and it will break it down into the United States, Canada, France, United Kingdom and you can see all the listens that I've had totaling about 3.7 million. You can also break down into the actual countries. So you can see 20,000 have listened to in Russia. We've got 375,000 in Canada, America, but even like Morocco, which is amazing, Algeria, N Nigeria, India, China, Australia, New Zealand, literally across the globe, people are listening to my show, not necessarily on a daily basis, Peru, 82 downloads in Peru, which um, it may not seem a lot, but that could be 82 people that actually buy one of your products or become one of your customers. And we can scroll down and we can see that the states, Virginia, United States, listen to the most, followed by California, then Quebec, then New Jersey, Washington, and then in France, Germany. So it is literally the ability to get global listens, Norway, Sweden, you can scroll across the map and literally there's not a country that you're not getting some kind of listenership. And the beauty of this information is you can then target and you can say, hello to, hello to the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Say hello to us. Tweet out that you listen to the show and you can build up some kind of um, discussion with them 
301 in Brazil. I might start targeting Brazil to see if I can get more from them. So you can see you've got a huge amount of data and that becomes so vitally important because you literally then can target the demographics of each of those states and countries. We're just going to the United States, just zoom into there, and we can see the amount of downloads by day. We can see that San Francisco, Oakland, Washington, Philadelphia, New York are listening to podcasts. I can see that the breakdown there, that's the last couple of days. So it does fluctuate, but that still doesn't matter. Then I can see that we've got 48,000 in Washington, Oregon are big listeners, California's the main one. Not a lot in the middle which is something that I need to sort of work on. But with this kind of information, you can work on it and you can literally target all these states to get more and more listens for your show. Podcasting, why wouldn't you do it? So that's the end of day one's content. I think we've given you enough information about how a podcast actually operates and why, of course, as I re-emphasize, if you're not podcasting and you've got a business or you want to have a business, why you should be doing it. Now, of course, I'm open to questions and answers. So if you want some more information on this content, connect with us later on Blab and I will go through all of that Whatever you want to ask me, I will answer it. It will be live, interactive. So just connect on the link that you'll see below this video and we will discuss further. Tomorrow's video is going to be looking at the equipment that you need, how to record a podcast and how it's not actually as expensive as most people will get you to think. You're already one step into becoming a master.